Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. My name is Emmanuel and in this video we will be talking about how to fix invalid format sub attribute for the product details. The product details that are currently having this issue is with apps such as the Google and YouTube app started roughly the 24th of July 2024 and that is for the e-commerce platform Shopify. So there are two methods that you can move forward with. One kind of fixes it rather immediately but it has a downside the other is retaining your product ranking so the first one is actually to just set up a feed rule that allows you to clear the attribute for the product detail the second option is to submit a supplement feed with your own product details as I've uh, explained, it's not as suitable uh, to have the first option because that lowers your performance. Because submitting product details increases your product performance because you're adding more value to the product information that Google can use for your ads. So let's go and have a look at how you would use the first option, which is clearing the feed rules. Once you're in Google Merchant Center, you go and click on the cog icon and then data sources. Then you click on your feed. And click on your attribute rules. If you don't see that, go and exit this. Go back to the cog icon. Go to add-ons. And for me, it's already added, but here you would see advanced data management. So I will go and show you what the title is. So if you go to your add-ons, it says advanced data source management. So that needs to be added. And when you go to the discover tab, it should be here. And then you can click on add and then that option will be available. So we go back to Cog's icon, data sources, click on your feed. Then click on your attribute rules and then select the uh, click on the add attribute rule and then begin typing detail and then select product detail. Here we want to cancel the added source. So cancel the button here. Do not click on the bottom one uh, as that will cancel the whole uh, rule. So cancel this and then we want to add a modification and then we want to select clear and then OK, save as draft. And then apply the changes. Now the downside is of course you're not submitting any details and the second option, uh, second problem is that you're not able to know when Google fixes the issue that, it, that the information will be submitted to your uh, Google Merchant Center account. So you have to then periodically check by removing the rule and then checking if it has been added. Uh, as it is not a severe issue, you can actually just ignore this uh, method because the attribute will actually just be uh, rejected and should not be a reason for suspension so you shouldn't be too concerned about having an error related to the missing sub attribute so i will just disregard this um, so that i can show you another option so we click on x and then when you're in the data sources so i will start from the beginning Cog icon, data sources, then click on supplement sources, and then we want to click on add supplement product data, and we want to use a Google Sheet template. Now we click on use template, it will ask to uh, link your account, so click on your account. And then it will open up a, a template. So now we want to delete everything from title up until product detail. And then everything after product detail. And delete. So now we have the ID and the product detail. Now, the one option is to add your own IDs manually. Let's say test one, two, three, and then add your product details. 
so we can see here that is how you submit it so sustainability then colon material colon organic and if you want to add multiple values what you do is add a comma at the end and then for example specification and then let's say it's size and then 12 centimeters and that's how you add it now i do not recommend adding commas in the value itself for example 12 comma 13 centimeters as that will oh that didn't do it so let's add a comma here so because uh, the value will be considered as a sub uh, sub attribute and it breaks the setup while you can add a double quote encapsulating the value it doesn't really work with spreadsheets it will still be an error um, so my recommendation if you want to do a separate values just do a slash for example and that will be more suitable now the easiest way to collect all your product IDs is actually going to the all products section. So we go back, click on products, all products, and there will be a download icon that you can click on. Here we go. So click on this. Now when you open up the file, you will notice that is a .csv file. So let's unzip this by just dragging it into a folder. And then we want to change that to .csv. Yes. Now open the file with your spreadsheet editor. Make sure that you select tab. Click on OK. And now we want to copy the ID column. So we go all the way to the bottom. And just copy that. Now let's go back to the spreadsheet. And then paste it here. There we go. So now all the IDs uh, are added. And now you can add the product details one by one. Of course, this is a big job. And normally I would not trust submitting product details via an app because it is not going to be as specific to the product details that you really have. So uh, for my clients, I manually add all the product details. Um, there are some clients that I have set up feed rules, but that is using the Shopify multi-feed app where all the um, specifications are actually in a custom meta field and then this meta field is then added into the uh, data feed but that is a whole different setup if the product details are applicable to all you can just simply apply it to all so let's go all the way to the bottom and then just apply it there we go and then submit the feed so these are the two methods that you can use to submit product details. The first one being to clear the attribute. However, that's not my recommendation. I would actually manually edit the spreadsheet to add your own uh, product details because the benefit is that you get more product ranking. So in other words, product performance, which results in more sales. So ultimately, yes, you have to do a lot of work, but what you want in the end is more sales so by having more product details and also actually adding other product attributes that should be added such as product highlights uh, etc that is what i recommend you do if you have any questions feel free to reach out thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one